my wireless mouse started to go bad and I started to search for a new one. I found Bamboo Lab wireless mouse company kit. It's a hardware kit, so it's not fully finished mouse. You get all the hardware and electronics you need. You only need to 3D print the shell and assemble it. The kit is available at Bamboo Lab store. The price is 13 euros. With tax and shipping cost, I paid 23 euros and 32 cents. 3D printed files are available at MakerWorld website. You can choose between different versions, one from Bamboo Lab and two versions from the other designer. I choose Bamboo Lab version. There are different profiles you can choose. Here is left-handed version and other user profiles. These profiles can be easily imported to the Bamboo Lab Studio. Top Shell has pre-made 3 support. I have X1 Carbon, so I can change it and transfer all settings. I will change filament to PLA Silk and I will print it with 0.12mm layer height. This print takes 4 hours and 28 minutes and 55 grams of filament. I use filament PM Pearl Blue PLA for top shell and GTEX Silk Silver PLA to print other parts. I used no bamboo lab filaments, so I will input filament info manually. I use basic glue stick glue for better rotation. All things are set up and it's time to print. All parts are printed. I printed top shell 0.12mm layer height and other parts 0.2mm. It seems that this piece is just for better beta adhesion. You don't need it. Top shell 3 support removing was a little bit difficult. I didn't want to pull it off because there seems to be a parts that can break easily. I cut it off with the pliers and managed to remove supports without damaging the top shell. Assembly is easy and you can watch tutorial video from the Bamboo Store website. Don't forget to remove this small plastic cover. Assembly went smoothly until I was installed third screw and the screw mounting piece snapped off and screw started to spin freely. Easiest fix for th that was to disassemble everything and print new bottom part. Second mounting point broke also. Screw holes were little too small. My printer tolerances can be little off. Also silk filament is weaker than normal BLA. Before I started the assembly process again, I cleaned the screw holes with the drill bit.
There seems to be one extra screw, or I just don't know where to put it. If you don't have 3D printer, but you need something to 3D print, just type in pcbweight.com and start ordering your stuff. There are many different types of 3D printing you can choose from. Different materials, PCBWay also makes custom PCBs. They provide CNC milling series, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. I like the design. The inlet part could be seen a little more from the outside. It will give a nice look if you use different color elements. All the buttons work fine, soft click buttons feel nice. It's good size mouse and it's also comfort to use. I like the mouse but it would be even better if there were two more buttons on the side for the back and forward. So it looks and feels good but does it work? Answer to it, yes. It connected without problems and all the functions work like they should. I don't know how long this utility button sold up. The silk PLA maybe wasn't the best for this print, but with good light it looks so nice. It took about 5 hours to print and 10 minutes to assemble, if all goes smoothly. Filament needed about 91 grams. So the cost of the wireless mouse was to me about uh, 26 euros. If you don't have Bamboo Lamp printer, you can also print it. You can download raw files and use any 3D printer and slicer you want. So that's it. Thanks for watching.